Welcome back to Iconic Classic. Today I'm changing the oil on my 300 turbo diesel. Here's how. So first you want to un-open uh, up the uh, this thing. Make sure you can because if you drain it and then you can't open that. Oh, hey, you have no oil and you're done. So see, I can open it and uh, you see steam's coming up. It's hot. You want to do it when the engine's oil is hot. It'll come out easier. Yeah, it might, you know, it's kind of toasty on your hand. But uh, if you're real good, you can avoid it the stream when you open the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna go underneath the car and open the drain plug. Be right back. Okay, now I'm down below the, um, the engine, car, whatever. That is the oil pan and that there is the drain plug. It's a 13 millimeter. So now I'm going to uh, pop it loose and get a drain pan under here and drain out the engine of its oil. Okay, uh, public service announcement. When you're doing these, don't crank them on with like 3,000 pounds of torque. Uh, this was really hard to get off and my dad got it off. Hit it with a hammer, had to, you know, break it loose. But um, now it's finger tight. I can unloosen it with my finger. But you know, if that's, if you can't get that off and you strip, you know, round off your bolt, that's kind of bad. So just be careful about that. I have my drip pan underneath. I'm gonna carefully, you now it's like weird pour pattern, you know, when it comes out. So just beware of that. I'm gonna slowly undo it. And you know, you kind of don't want to drop it because you need this. You don't want to drop it in the pan because then you have to fish around for it. All right. Slowly, slowly. Don't want to drop this ring either. Almost. Get ready to move. Oh man, perfect. Oh, it's all good. So yeah, pro tip, I like was pushing it in as I was unscrewing it. And then when I thought, when I thought, when I thought, when I thought it was off the thread, I just pull it fast away and we got it. And I'm not covered in oil. And so that's filthy oil. So um, yeah, it's not supposed to be that dark. But that's cool. It's a cool shade of dark. Okay, I'm gonna let that drain. And I'm out for now. Alright, I got the bolt out. I got a new crush washer on that came with the kit. So, you know, it's good to replace. Oh yeah, so if you don't have a replacement, which some kits don't have anymore, um, you can just take the old one and you know, sand, like lap it. Put some sandpaper, you know, smooth out the uh, both sides and uh, reuse it. But it's better to just use a new one. I'm out. But, uh... All right, I uh, got it back on. I'm pretty relatively, you know, I'm confident that it won't come off. And it's tight enough not to come off and not too tight that it won't come off again. So now we're going to move back up to the top of the engine. Um, another thing, actually, I didn't mention, but, uh, you know, you want to take this off first. So... It's also when you uh, it's like when you take a bottle and you you um, you know put a hole in it and then you turn it up or you, you turn a bottle upside down and put a hole in the in the bottom so that it it all go out faster otherwise it goes like glug 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 so when you have air open you know open to the air it just come out easier than trying to drain it without that I think uh, probably. Here in the back of the engine, engine, car, front, blah, blah, blah. Here's the fuel filter canister. Um, there, so take it off. Yeah, okay. All right, I got this out. There's the, the top, the cover. That, and down in there is the uh, the filter. You're really going to want like a thing for that, eh? you know, like a glove or something. Okay, I got the cover with the shaft out and cleaned up, wiped it down. You want to wipe it down all the dirty oil off of it. And uh, in here, 
where my uh, thumb is sort of over, uh, there's another big O-ring. Um, and it, and uh, I'm gonna pop this one out and put a new one in now with the same way I did with the other one thing. Got my picks. All right. Okie doke. So there's my new ring. Here's my clean thing. My dad dropped the new filter in. It's got this really cool little like handle. Really, really handy right there. Handy dandy. Um, and push that back in. Okay, there we go. Put the ring around the thing. Dad, do I need to lube this? Yeah, probably. Probably want to lube that. I'm going to lube that. Um, then basically just flip it over, put it down in there, tighten the bolts. These are also 13 millimeters, by the way. Um, it's a 13 mil job. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to lube that and slide it on. Okay. Now, here we are putting the fuel filter lid back on. And it's going to go down over the studs already has the lubricated o-ring back on it put the nuts back on it cinch them down to uh, a number of goodly inch pounds and we're ready to put the oil back in the crankcase so exciting. at this point you put the oil in here I didn't film it because unless you want to experience much frustration and consternation, you need steady hands and concentration. Okay, uh, now we go to start it. And we want to check for leaks. So I've got that going. And don't give it any gas, just, you know, kind of let it start, let it cycle and check. My camera died. Uh, I was in the process of saying, go out, check for leaks under the car, filter area, wherever. Make sure that things aren't leaking out by the drain plug. Also, I mentioned uh, you don't want to rev the engine when you first turn it on. Um, you've just emptied the oil from the engine, so up, it, has, it hasn't had a chance to cycle yet. So if you rev it, it's, you're revving an unlubed engine, and that's not good. So let it cycle, let it warm up, then you can drive around, rev it, whatever you want. And with that, I'm out.